Good morning, lovelies, and happy Tarot Tuesday. So today is Tuesday, May 24th, and I am here with the Weaver Tarot Rose Gold Rose Edition. These are absolutely gorgeous cards. Um, I can definitely recommend. I can also do a review soon if anybody would like a review on these. So you guys, um, I'm going to do the energy of the upcoming week with some guidance. We're going to do a three-card pull for this week. So let's shuffle away. Um, I shuffle a lot until I get the idea that I'm ready to pull a card. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got some Palo Santo spray here. I'm just going to cleanse the energy. Cleanse the air. Cleanse the cards. Big deep breath. Guys, if you would like to book your own personal tarot reading, you can reach out to me. Um, link's going to be down below. Also, make sure to subscribe, like, and follow. Make sure that you're not missing any updates every week. We're doing Tarot Tuesday. Okay. Let's see. We got one. I feel like number two is on the bottom. That happens sometimes. And then number three is right here. Don't mind Lola. She's a very, very, very needy Frenchie. And this cat who doesn't understand social distancing. <laughs> okay, so. Big deep breath. Hold in any questions that you may have, any things, any thoughts coming up for you this coming week that you may have questions for. And we'll just let the guidance flow intuitively. Whatever comes up, comes up, and we'll run with it. So, card number one. And there's no particular order. This is just guidance for the week. Okay, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is telling us that we're coming up on, like, somewhat the end of a cycle, but not quite ready to be done with it. It looks like we still have a few steps left. And I feel like this is probably like for the parents in school, right? So hold the faith, know that like things are coming to an end, things are working out. Um, you know, especially hold the faith is really what is being hammered in right now. Hold the faith, hold the vibe <clears throat> that it's working out in your highest favor always, that your kids are doing fine, and this summer is nothing to worry about. I feel like this is really like geared towards the parents for some reason. Like that's really being like hammered in right this minute. Um, if this doesn't apply to you, you can think of something coming to an end, something that you may need to hold the faith in, that you may need to allow yourself to believe in, that things are working out. It's not quite ready to be done, but it's coming up on the end of it. So keep going. Don't give up now. Um, I'm really hearing like the time is not now to give up. So if that applies to you, run with it. Number two. Number two is the three of cups. This is gorgeous. So the number three, it tells us about having many options, having many, um, not, not only options, but I'm also hearing obstacles right now for some reason. So there's many options available to us and there's also many obstacles. But think of it this way, for every problem, there's automatically a solution to it. There's limitless solutions to it. But we have to open our minds to realize that and to accept that there are solutions to our problems. We are never up shit creek. We're never at a dead end. There's always something because the universe works in duality and flow in that for every problem, there's an equal solution to it, whatever that may be. Now, the three is also telling us that you know, I'm seeing like a crossroads, like a fork in the road, which generally doesn't always coincide with the number three, and especially the three of cups. The three of cups tends to be more emotionally driven. So emotional based on like, we have choices, but I feel like what is coming up is to follow your heart and to do what feels best to you, do what feels right to you. Um, there is a right way. Keep moving forward. I'm hearing that it's not the time to look back. It is a time to keep moving forward. Look at where you're going. Don't worry so much about what you've done or where you've been in the past, but keep going forward because you can get, I'm also hearing and feeling and seeing that you can get um, distracted and sidetracked in many ways, but the point is to keep moving forward, to stay in your own lane, especially. Um, right now, um, <clears throat> globally and like in the media and such, if you heavily follow social media and TV, that's kind of a problem because you can tend to get sidetracked. You can tend to get like pulled off the wagon by all these other things going on in the world and in the collective. And now is not the time for that. Now is the time to really continue to focus and work on you and your own inner 
like your own inner world, don't worry so much about what's going on outside of you. So there could be many distractions. Stay focused, stay in your lane. That's actually the best thing that we could ever do for ourselves because when we, especially as empaths, when we try to make everybody and every single problem our problem, it actually takes away from our own healing, takes away from our own journey. And if we as empaths on this planet do not heal and do not work on ourselves and take care of ourselves, we are of no service to other people, none. And light workers, this goes for you too. If you are constantly trying to fix everybody's problems, to fix all the problems in the collective, constantly worrying about what's going on in the news and like following big media and obsessed with social media, it is taking away from your own path. It's taking away from your own light and you are less able to be of service to the world. So it serves no one, not you, not anybody else. So guys, stay on your path. <laughs> Last but not least, we got number three. And coffee. <laughs> Okay, number three, the fool. So often this card will come up at the beginning stages of something or when you are planning to do something. I feel like whoever needs to hear this, if you have some kind of financial plan in place, I feel like there may be somebody like trying to buy a house that needs to hear this. If you have some kind of financial plan in place, do not overstretch yourself. Right now is not the time, and especially this coming week in particular, is not the time to extend or overextend your energy or to make like large promises that you can't keep. Maybe it's not the time to pick up extra hours at work. Right now, actually this coming week is the time to more so like rest and renew so that you can pick back up on that journey in a couple of weeks. Um, whoever needs to hear this. So the fool in planning and implementing and getting started with things, right? We don't always have to have every single step, every single inch of this plan laid out in front of us. Sometimes we just need to take the first step and sometimes that's just a baby step. Keep in mind, if you are trying to do something like planning a diet, planning an exercise routine, planning to do something different with your home, you don't have to like do every single thing at once. You can start small and go from there and build momentum. But whatever it is that you are getting started on, take your time. You don't need to overextend. You don't need to worry about it. Small steps. The Fool card is often a card where someone is often depicted anyway, as someone is starting out and they're jumping right off the cliff. They're jumping in head first, right? Hit the ground running. And I don't recommend overextending your energy in that matter. I recommend pacing yourself in whatever it is that you are starting or whatever you are planning. If you are planning on going back to school, going to college, something like that, um, trade schools, some kind of learning program, if that's what you are planning right now, um, I highly recommend um, going for it, but pacing yourself. Go for it, but pace yourself and make sure that this is even worth your time and that you will get a return on your investment. And remember, investment is not just monetary, it is your time, energy, and effort as well. So... That concludes Tarot Tuesday for Tuesday, May 24th. Um, just to recap, the Eight of Wands, we're coming up on something. Hold the faith. It's ending. It's coming to an end. Hold the faith. Hold the vibe. Think of how you want to remember this in hindsight. How do you want to remember experiencing this in hindsight? So hold that vibe and hold that faith. Um, the Three of Cups. Stay in your lane. Try not to get veered off track. Try not to get distracted. Stay in your lane. Mind your business. Work on yourself and the fool. Pace yourself. You don't need to overextend yourself. That benefits not you, not anybody. I hope this helped you all. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe so that you do not miss any future updates of Tarot Tuesday or any of the other videos I make. Um, and if you would like a reading of your own, be sure to reach out to me. You will find my information in the links below. I love you all. Happy Tarot Tuesday.